Hi, today I like to show you what's inside uh, um, Fat Shark uh, Dominator HD. Uh, mine is a version one, and uh, first the reason why I opened mine is I had um, uh, two small uh, disturbing points on the lenses, and I tried to figure out if it was the cam on the quad or it was the goggles and it was the goggles so um, what I had to do I had to try to open the goggles to check the lenses clean all the lenses uh, rebuild it and um, then everything should be fine so I just want to show you um, what expects you when you want to open it what you have to be careful about and um, yeah, I hope if you have the same issue with your lenses, um, this video will be helpful. Uh, as you can see, uh, the goggles uh, is already goggles is already opened, and um, the lenses on one side is also um, opened. And here we have the three lenses. Uh, you have to check. Um, for cleaning, but uh, first we start um, uh, how to open the, the case and yeah, what you have to be careful. Okay, um, on the lower side of of uh, the the lower part of the case, you have three screws. Um, they are easy to find. Just uh, release them and. Um, uh, then you almost already can open it. So uh, if you have the upgrade with with the the, the wearing system with with a ventilator with a, with the fan on it, um, uh, first you have to take off this because uh, this holds the two uh, case parts, the lower and the upper part together. So uh, take off this. Then lose the three screws on the lower uh, case. Um, take off the two plates which cover the the receiver uh, module and the head tracker module. Take off these two. Take out your um, your uh, micro SD card if you have uh, one inside for DVR. Take this one out. And um, yeah, you can take off uh, the band here, uh, but it is not necessary. But it's easier for handling if you take it off first. You have uh, some space between uh, the upper and the lower uh, case part where you can pull out uh, the band um, just to have easier access to the rest um, of the goggle. And then um, when you try to open it, uh, you have to be careful because you have at the front side you have three of these uh, little hooks here, uh, which keep uh, your goggles still together. And on the back side you have one in the center. That's the one here. And so you just have to be sure uh, to pull to push the. Uh, lower part of the case um, to, to get out uh, at the upper side. You have to figure out um, how to lose. Just pull a little bit and then move two parts of the case and then uh, it will come off. And for sure what you have to do all first, um, disconnect your battery because of shortcuts it's no good idea if you have power on your system um, when you want to open it. So first, disconnect your battery. Then um, we have uh, the lenses here and to, to reach the lenses you have to uh, first you have to remove this uh, electronics plate. This electronics plate is uh, fixed on the upper um, part of the case and these two points here you have these small two screws which the electronics plate is fixed uh, with the upper plate um, of the case. So remove these screws 
and here you have a small uh, double-sided tape which holds this um, this uh, this wire here, this flat wire here. So also here, be very careful if you take this wire of this um, tape. Otherwise, you will destroy your cable, and this won't be easy to replace this thing here. Okay, then when you have the upper case off, then we have the open lenses and everything and then you need to come to the lower side of uh, the lenses because at the lower side of the lenses as you can see at the still uh, closed one you have uh, three screws here, here and here uh, which you need to unscrew to take off the cover of the lens what you have to do and that's your on your own risk you have a warranty sticker on the lens case so that means if you take off uh, the lens case then uh, warranty will be gone because uh, uh, you, you can cut it or you can try to remove the sticker and replace it but yeah, my opinion is uh, if you open the lens case, warranty is gone. Fat shock warranty is gone. Factory warranty is passed. Um, yeah, but um, if you are careful, you cannot destroy the goggles. So yeah, you can go on. It will be fine. In my case, I had the problem that on both sides of uh, the lens, I have some uh, disturbing tiny things in it and um, what I do now is I'm gonna uh, go for cleaning all these lenses um, you have inside uh, the lens case these are all three glass lenses you have to take off all these three clean them you have to be uh, also very careful uh, if you clean it don't scratch it um, and if they are super clean again you can rebuild the whole thing and also check your display Oops. If you have here check the display for any uh, thing on it which can um, disturb your perfect picture on the goggles yeah, um, that was just a closer look at the uh, inside of my Fat Shark Dominator HD version 1. Um, for everyone who wants to open it because of any reason, um, I hope this was uh, helpful. Some are also doing diversity receivers and they also open uh, the case to go from one to the other antenna with the cables inside the goggles so this could also be a reason why you want to open your case and go through the goggles with your wires and um, on the side of the of the head tracker you can install um, your own second uh, antenna diversity antenna so uh, I put uh, the dominators together again and I uh, wanted to check uh, if there is any uh, change in the lenses no more uh, disturbing points uh, but what I have to say is uh, that nothing changed and um, the reason why nothing changed is that it wasn't dust or something on the lenses but uh, the problem it was that um, or the problem is still that uh, I put my goggles somewhere down on the field and the sunlight went into the lenses and if you have too long time direct sunlight in your lenses uh, the sunlight will burn uh, tiny bright points onto your goggle displays and the result is that you have uh, these little 
uh, bright points forever on your goggle displays. Uh, yeah, that's what happened to me. Uh, it was, uh, anyways, an experience to open the goggles and see what's inside. And my advice is, uh, first advice is never put your goggles down to between some flights uh, that the sunlight can come in. So turn it like this to the sunlight when the sun comes from here. Everything's okay, but direct sunlight in your lenses will destroy uh, or not destroy but will will reduce uh, your quality the quality of your picture because of these tiny bright points and second advice is uh, after I opened the lenses I had to say it's not really necessary to open them they are really uh, well uh, closed and there is almost no possibility for any dust to come in the lenses or between these three lenses or on the display uh, to give you uh, disturbing uh, dust points um, on the lenses. Um, if you think you have uh, dust on the lenses, what you can try before you're gonna try to clean the lenses, just take out the three lenses on, on each side and turn them uh, 180 degrees and put them back in, put the lens together, turn on power and check if the position of your uh, disturbing points changes. When the position changes uh, it's something on the lens, if it doesn't change it's something on the display so normally like in my case um, it's burned in sunlight uh, on the display which you cannot remove. Perhaps you can replace the, the displays. I didn't check that already if they are uh, available as spare parts. But um, yeah, best is try to avoid direct sunlight into your goggles, put them down like this or something. Nothing can happen and uh, your displays will be fine. Okay, that's it about my fat shark goggles. Uh, I hope the video was helpful. Have a nice day. Happy flying. Bye bye.